Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to short two nets together inside PCB Editor. So that's available in AllCAD standard all the way up to um, the Allegra PCB Designer license. Um, so the, this method has been around for a long time, but Kate's have changed the, the way you do this effectively in uh, in 17.2 in QIR5, which was Hotfix 31. So I'll go through some basics first. So obviously I've got two dynamic shapes here, one on zero volts, one on shield one, and I want to short these two together with a with a copper shape. So effectively, I can add a shape, a shape rectangular. I'll go to the options pane. I'm gonna add a static shape and I'll leave it as dummy net for now. So when I draw the static shape, by default, what's gonna happen here is obviously, it's gonna clear these two dynamic shapes because these are all different nets. That's effectively zero, that's shield one, and this is effectively drawn on a, a dummy net. So first things first, I'd need to add a property to the shape. So I could use the edit object properties, click on the shape, and then I add this property called din do not void. So we'll add that property first. And you can see then it stops voiding, but I now get some DRC errors. So the previous method, I would then scroll down to add a property called net short and then pick effectively, type in the two values for net short one, one, one for net one, one for net two, separated by colons. Um, you can add multiple, so if you had three or four different nets you wanted to do this on, you could literally just do a like a colon separated list. So in this latest release, uh, Kate's have simplified this. So in general edit mode, I literally just hover over the shape and I can do a right click. So let's hover over the shape, right click. There's a, uh, now a menu command, net short. I can then effectively pick net one, pick net two, pick net three if I had all those. Once I'm happy with that, I do a right click and complete the net short. And effectively that then adds all the properties in the correct format for me. So I've now effectively got a net short here between these two nets. Um, this is also going to work on VIA, so if I was just going to, let me just go and quickly add a quick VIA, so let's just turn on all my layers here, so I'm going to add a, a VIA here, for example, so looking at our visibility pane, so that's connected to the top of the ball because it's on the shield, this is effectively the ground plane, so same scenario, hover over the VIA, right click, net short, so I'm going to pick effectively the shield one, I'm going to pick the ground vault, right click, complete the net short, and then in this example, what I've got to do here is update the shape. So I can do a, um, a check design status. In fact, let's go to um, the shape menu, shape global dynamic parameters, and we'll force update the shape. And you can see then the shape effectively then completes and covers the via. If I go to say the power layer, you can see it's still cleared, but obviously on that ground plane on that specific layer, it's created the short for me. 